Move on over, you Splatoony players. This came first for the Wii. Really? Yep. Nordic. Nordic. Ah, uh, yes. THQ Nordic. I'm surprised that these guys are actually still around. Oh, they are? I mean, considering the fact they kind of went out of business ages ago. But, of course, they ha they got some needle help from a random company called Blue Tongue. <laughs> oh, boy. Saw so, seen here. Oh, Blue Tongue. Those are the people that made the Nicktoons Unite games. Oh, that, uh, honestly, that actually explains a lot suddenly. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, their little game here is so oh. colorful. And, well, let's just say that a certain war nation aren't taking too kindly to that. So they've come to take over in the name of Black and White. Wait. I'll call them the Monochromians, because I don't know what else to call them. <laughs> what? The, the Monochromians. The, the Monochromians, okay. Like Monochrome, but yes, they've no. come to steal all of our color. <sighs> all of it. Literally sucking it up like vampires. Now, meanwhile, there seems to be a... <laughs> Excuse me. Don't mind me. Don't mind the symbolism here. Meanwhile, like... So is he, is this guy supposed to be like Donkey Kong, like in the jungle, or...? He's just... well, he's the blob. And right now, he is this world's... and the, the Resistance's resistance. only hope. And savior. Of course, with a little help from the Resistance. Though, that being said, we're the true heroes of this show. We are the blob. A man of a million colors, here to save the day from the... Monochromians, as Logan called them. Okay, oh, I don't know what else to call there them. You go. And it's a good thing the old man just kept kept them waiting, because well, we're certainly not waiting for waiting to save the day. So welcome to a game that I did not expect to see. Or to the Switch. Acknowledged and remembered on the Switch. Mm-hmm. It's practically on everything now. This is the blob, originally a uh, Wii exclusive, and then, well, as of recently, it's been ported to pretty much everything else. PS4, Xbox One, PC, and, of course, the Switch. As a matter of fact, um, as this recording, um, the blob 2 is actually slated to come to the system as well. Nice. nice. That was the, that's the one I hear most people talk about. Is that also going to be, like, exclusive, or will that also be on other It'll consoles? be on other consoles. In fact, I think it's already on other consoles. The Switch is... It took, they took their sweet time to actually get themselves onto the Switch. What's the mood? Gotcha. Basically, the mood, the mood system here is basically just, um, well, you pick a mood, and that's pretty much the... the vol it's pretty much the game's music. Oh, yeah. okay. Pick one, and the, and the stage pretty much goes through with it as you see fit. Oh! oh. Ah. That works. Hey, there you go. Good old punch is all you need. Uh, so the resistance is up to some work, and what is in the distance? Hey! Hey! Oh. oh, she just wants to enjoy color! But of course, this, color. this little spider thingy won't have any of that. Destroy the color! Suck it up! You big baby! <laughs> Hmm. Oh, not even strict. Oh, hey. Don't worry, she's part of the resistance, too. And, oh, uh, it was just graffiti. <gasps> looks like the blob has been set into motion. Here we go. Showtime. <laughs> Rest in pieces. Bam! Literally. Oh, God, that's actually kind of. Not yet. Don't mind us, we're just passing on along. Are you down there, young man? It's honestly kind of graphic in some cases, but it's ink. They're, they're, they're the ink. Lots or whatever. Oh, the inked. Oh, there it is. The ink. They're called the inked. Mm -hmm, the ink. I and I do like with these loading screens. They give you a, a bit of an introduction to how, how things work in the stage you're going through. Well, mm -hmm. like, for example, um, we're, we're starting things off at a um, resort that has been taken taken over by inked. Capture the transmitter. We can start restoring the. Co okay, so we need to capture a transmitter that will allow us. Uh, I don't know. A transmitter that will uh, pretty much be used as our main base. So, yeah. Welcome to the blob. Welcome to the revolution, Rom. I am the professor, the leader of the color underground. Okay. The evil incorporation have taken all the color from Chroma City. <laughs> With your help, we can restore the world using color energy. You must hurry. The timer shows how long you have before ink tracks you down. Oh, really? There's Finish your mission and get to the exit pool before time expires. Let's make a stop, Blob. Smash a paper to get color. Okay. Get our red on. So, hold mm -hmm. the O. 
So yeah, basically our main gimmick here is that as the blob, we can pretty much auto lock into just about anything, and well, these paint bots, bots here will give us a uh, color, any specific color that it's holding on to at the time. Okay. So here we go. We got some color. So let's start. Let's start painting the painting this town red. <laughs> the nice. blood of our enemies. So. We, so now, it looks like moving around, we have now a limited supply of color to go around the place with. Yeah, well, not so much unlimited. It's li it, You'll notice that... Or a, a, li a, a limited, I meant. A Sorry. limited, there you go. There's a gauge on the bottom right corner of the screen that'll showcase how much color you have until you pretty much go, well, back to being a plain block. Okay. And if you color color the city enough, you'll get this little um, thingamahooger that pretty much restores the rest of the color for you. Okay. So well, then... that doesn't that doesn't mean you're not that doesn't mean you're not free to um edit to um change it as you see fit. <laughs> yep. So it uh, style pickup, nice. So I'm um, so looking at this, it almost kind of I don't know what this reminds me of, but like this definitely reminds me of a game I played once, where like the idea is that like after you've done after you've completed a percentage of the area, you can complete you, you can complete an entire area, I guess. That's honestly not too far fresh from what this game does. In fact, honestly, you may have been thinking about this game um, subconsciously. Most likely. Oh, oh he's and here's Zip. See how we draw on the revolution. He's the speedster, if that is immediately obvious. Yeah, we can pay some challenges for you to help put the last holiday resort back the way it was. Walk to a color and a symbol like this one by me, press Y. Go do it. Together we can call up the world. And I do love the fact that, well, this game basically has its own spoken language, and they do correlate it with the uh, dialogue that they're um, talking, they're saying. But oh, that's nice. Party. The color expert. How do you have a color expert in a color? I okay. I'll just I'll just assume it's like the same as being a humanitarian major. Yeah, we'll go with that. We yeah, would probably fair. we would speak our dialogue, but we don't have any ladies here right now. No, so well, that's, that straight. is why I asked if we should wait to see if Seely would be interested. Yeah, I don't think she would though. Well, Seely Seely's busy with her own things like killing spiders in her bathroom, so yeah, that's so why it's just to, us schmucks for this video. So we need to freeze up ingredients. Ooh. So can we become bigger? Yes, we can. Uh, the more ink that you consume, the more the bigger that you'll get. And well. That's basically it's it's basically a pseudo health health bar like the and well it does it's well uh, the bigger you are the bigger target you are though for the most part that's not too bad considering the biggest thing you want to worry about is well coloring the world right mm -hmm. and, so and so something good. a little thing I do like is that like in case you can't hear it like the more you color the world the more um, of the soundtrack you can hear in the background and like James says the soundtrack actually does change genre depending on what color you're using. Or mood. That's nice. But yeah, he is right on that. The um, change, uh, the different color you are, like the different uh, beats you hear whenever you try to, whenever you color something, as we're about to showcase here with another arty mission. All right. So the whole purpose of the resistance is that they're the one that give that give you your missions. Art in Artie's case, she just she just asks you to um, color color a set piece a certain color, and um, well, those are pretty simple enough. And obviously, you can mix your colors to have a more creative. Um, what hap What happens if we uh, let's say we become purple, but then we want to go back to being red again? You just uh, smash another red paint pot. Oh, it's like to reset it. Okay. Basically. Now, uh, now, of the colors that we, of the colored varieties we get, is it only limited to the primary and secondary colors? Yes. You only okay. the the only paint pots around have uh, uh, red, yellow, and blue, and you gotta mix them up, mix them around based on those. Okay. Which I mean, kind of grateful for that, because if there were more than that, that, more colors than that, I think this this game would start getting a wee bit too complicated with its options. Yeah, Probably. true that. Especially with its, especially with Artie's missions, go figure. <laughs> also, um, missions can come. Yeah. Uh, but uh, missions do come in like several varieties. Um, the only one I won't be able to show off is from, I forget who the big dude's name is, the big orgy blob. He's basically your, he's basically your combat specialist, and obviously he wants you to um, take down any enemies that you come across, like uh, all of the um, inked agents you'll probably find here and there. Okay. 
Also, uh, crap, I was gonna say something earlier. Um, oh, hang on. The machine is blocked by the sector gate. Oh, right. That, so, past that point is where the inked are? Uh, past that point is the next section of the chapter. Oh, oh okay. Every stage is, uh, is sectioned off into, uh, you know, sections. And, well, when, the only way to actually access these other sections is to raise your color meter a specific percentage. See that, um, meter on the top right? Yes. That's the meter you need to fill. Up. And believe you me, if you're one of those clep if you're one of those, um, how should I put this? If you're one of those um, obsessive compulsive kind of people that try to w that want to color in everything and anything, you're gonna fill up that bar pretty dang easily to the point where you could basically just skip through the entire level once you fill it up a certain point. <laughs> yeah. Right, so you just keep charging through. Yeah, basically. Uh. This is a problem. Those towers look way too tall for us to just jump off and stuff. Yeah, but of course the professor here has a sp has a plan for us to um, hijack those things. Okay. But we'll Let's learn of those soon enough. Oh. And he also teaches us about the compass, which uh, if you hold down the button, it'll lay down the uh, locations of certain things, whether it be missions, um, other colors you can use, or uh, objectives. All right, good to know where we're going. Uh, also shows us any paper, what's water? <laughs> water is going to be important in case you want to, well, in case you want to, um, get rid of whatever color you're using, or in the worst case scenario, you get inked. <gasps> yeah. I'll explain that more in detail later, but now we actually have to start mixing up our colors for this, uh, set, this one set of buildings. This right. one block. Yellow, blue, and green. Mm -hmm. Green. And again, it is cool that, again, you, the, the, whatever color you are, it does change the beats that play whenever you ink your color or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. I, I like that, like, uh, I like that, um, bit, I'm trying to think, I'm trying, I'm trying to describe this. I like that, uh, bit of, like, feedback on how you're doing with the nice, satisfying beats. Looking for places you can color. Yes, understood. Basically, he's teaching us how to use the camera. I mean, kind of a random point to do so, just saying, but thank you very yeah. much regardless. We know what we're doing. We it's like we played 3D games before. This is nothing new for us. Mm -hmm. But yeah, understand? like you know, it, it's funny thinking about it because I'm um, like, uh, the blob here, like he was only really noticeable back in like 2008, 2009, or or, or was it just I forget when this game was released, but it was basically that one high profile third party game that was released on the Wii that was fairly successful for a while. Yeah. And I mean, roughly so. The blob, I mean, for all of its for all of its issues, does have a, a certain number of charm to it. Like, this does feel like a feel like a passion project more than just something done just by the numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, now I can't say the, the exact same for the blob too, because I actually haven't played that one much. So, oh, and I do like that. I do like this that um. Since since you, since Artie knows that you're gonna be using a certain color for the next batch of buildings, she they already have a paint pot that'll give you the color you need. That's good. Also, yeah. wow, you can uh, get some pretty big height once you become a big blob. Oh yeah, like you're practically uh, you're practically a behemoth at this point. Uh, I, I, I apologize. I apologize if they already explained it, but is it possible to like wall jump as well? Yeah, you can wall jump. Nice. Oh dear. In fact, you're going to need that ability for some of the harder missions, especially those that have a little too much ink in them. Okay. So, despite the fact that these drained buildings and stuff are alright to touch, if we ink by itself, it's like poison. Uh, yeah, it's ink is pretty much poison in the blob, and by that point, you really gotta start searching for some water stat. Gotcha. Alright, that should be enough. Yep, Clear. the gate has been unlocked. Look at the happy little colory people. So happy. They must save the world. Bop into the beat of the music and the color that's coming back into their lives. In fact, I think uh, one of the characters outright said that, like, like, with all the color we've been putting putting out, the, the sky's turning blue again. Aww. It's kind of sad how how the gradient, or excuse, yeah, the gradients have so much power that they can literally even desaturate this, the freaking sky. Well, I, think the I don't know why, but I love the I think fact the... that... I love the fact that when you oh, kick it around, it's just like random record scratching. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think... No, I think the gradients are the good people, but they were like... They got... They had the color sucked out, so now they look 
gray. Like these are the gradients that we're dealing with. Oh yeah, now. the gray. My bad. It's the ink that the are the gradients. Are back to being radiance. My bad. Okay, yeah. they, I meant to say ink. My bad. No worries. So yeah, here I am just fueling my obsessive compulsionness again, mm -hmm. and then realizing, oh wait, I have a job to do. How about I take care of that real quick? Boom. And the Lord said, "Let there be light and color." And color. Which is an after effect of light if you go 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 go, go into the science of everything. Anyway. Next. All right. Now for the more important mission types. This propaganda tower is an ink landmark blob. Ink converted all the radiant civic buildings and now use them to spread their message of monotony. <gasps> However, you have the power to transform landmarks and restore them to their former glory. Landmarks are resistant to color, but I've invented a device which allows you to slam its weak point and get inside. What is it? You'll need to be red and have 30 paint points. I can only override the landmark's defenses for a limited time, so act quickly. So now we need to run and get the right color and then come back. So yeah, this is gonna be. A, this is pretty much of uh, the professor's missions. Basically, just hijacking these buildings and well, using whatever color it asks for to change them back into something a little more appropriate for the landmark. Alrighty. By the way, ready for everyone. Well, that's just a coincidence. <laughs> like it's. It can be I know. I know. It, it was. It wasn't intentional, but you can totally see it as that. Yeah. Ooh. I saw it as that. Woo! And to, be and to be fair, we are expelling the expelling paint into that thing, so you can totally make it that way. We're yeah. all color. So, and I assume at any point in time, if we were to jump into water right now, we would lose all of our paint points and reset. Uh, our paint points would not be reset, but our but our color would. Okay. So do keep that in mind whenever you decide to um, uh, cha oh change boy. colors, or you know, just not be a specific color, or you know, again, get ganked. Oh ganked. boy. Like the that. streets are polluted with ink. If you get eight, get to water fast. Oh dear. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if you actually have like music playing when you're like black inked, but I kind of would like if you were able to paint with a black ink, but it's just bagpipes. <laughs> bagpipes. The the, the uh, clearly the worst of all m musical instruments to be hearing. Also, tell me the sound effect when we collect these life icons. Don't sound like something right out of Final Fantasy VII. I'll take your word for that. Yeah, I hear that sprite. I wouldn't say Final Fantasy VII, but I definitely hear it like from Final Fantasy IV, like kind of like sprite. Well, the any of any of Square Soft's games, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Just a funny coincidence. I noticed when actually when replaying this game. Okay. Anyway, I think we're coming up to our last uh, major uh, landmark for this area. So, well, once I color the grates the orange, and try not to touch the ink. Like a good blob. Careful. Oh, oh, oh. oh, never mind. Hey. So, and I love whenever you're inked. It literally sounds like the blob is suffocating. So yeah, it so does. we were inked, and we were so inked, and we were steadily losing uh, ink. So wait, so what does it take to die in this game? If you lose all of your, uh, if you lose, if you go, if you reset to zero, and you pretty much get inked right then and there. Okay. I think that I think that'll pretty much that'll pretty much well you die after that. Yeah, gotcha. I believe so. Now I, I want you to do or actually no wait, is your net still offline or Um actually um it just came back on, but I don't want to risk like leaving the phone in the middle of this. Yeah, for those wondering I'm using the phone app right now. Fair right. enough. I was, I was actually going to ask if either one of you could um, look up IMDB and check out who voices the blob, because I swear to God I hear his voice clips and I immediately think of D. Bradley Baker. I'll look it up Well, real I quick. mean, like, I, I, can, I can still, like, partake in the call with the phone and still look up on the computer. I'll do that right now, actually. I, I okay. got it. He, he, he was Inky and the Inky and the blobs in general are played by D. Bradley Baker. <laughs> what do you know? So, so, I no, so knew it. So according to this, literally every male character is played by D. Bradley Baker. Like every deep, wow, even, like even, you notice even the kid, even 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 the uh, kid. No, no, no. Well, I mean, well, the kid, you know, the, you know, it's classic, like it's classic video game media thing to have young boys played by women because they, you know, they can hit that voice register oh, okay, easier. That, yeah, that is, that in that is in, in that case, it's kind of in that case, it's shared between Amber Hood and Lara Jill Miller. Lara Jill gotcha. Miller. Sorry. That, that that's that second one sounds familiar, but I just don't know where I've heard that name from. 
Laura Jill Miller is, uh, let's see, she is recently, she plays Lisa, Liam, and a bunch of people in that, in that one Nickelodeon oh, no. show, Loud House. Oh, Careful. okay, that might have been where I, that might have been where I heard it. Let's see. I mean, I don't watch a lot of Loud House, but I do recognize actors from that. And no, don't worry, the, the stuff in the middle of that building is an ink. Okay, okay. good. Oh, she plays Chirithi. She plays Chirithi, that weird cat thingy from Kingdom Hearts Unchained in the 2.8 funnel. You know when it's actually voice acted. Huh. Let's see what else. She is also. Uh, well, we're just on this topic now because it's. Well, I do like this stage now. Now they're giving you full like reign over a big old area. Mm -hmm. And and trust me, it gets a little more expansive from here. And okay, I'm not gonna mince words. This is probably my biggest problem with the, with some with some of the levels in um the blob. If you're going for everything, they take way too long. Like, like, yeah. Just one, just one playthrough of a level can easily take up about a half hour or so. Are they optional? Roughly even an hour. But now, are the missions optional? Uh, they can, they can be optional. It depends on how much you, how much effort you put into it. Like, it's all building up to that color meter I talked about earlier. And well, if you just want to go for the bare minimum, you can just do a certain amount of missions, color up some of the buildings, let the gates open up, and go from there. Yeah. Okay. In which case, if you do it that way, I guess it's not too bad. But again, if you're one, if you're the completionist type, you're gonna dread some, some how long some of these levels can take. Yeah. So yeah. And then, I, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think they fixed that problem for the sequel either. Oh dear. Oh boy. So the other big thing that I can see Lara, uh, Jill Miller, as having done in terms of oh, what, this is gonna suck. In, in terms of what I can see is that she played. He, she played Kari in Digimon. Oh, huh. Um, let's see, I'm gonna look up which one it was. Kari was the little girl with, like, the with the whistle or whatever. I think Ty's little sister or something. I think so, yeah. Was yeah, she, so was she, I was about to say, was she Digimon's blamed ripoff of Misty? No, 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 that, that is, that's the girl with the helmet. I keep forgetting what her name is. I think her name is Sora. Oh yeah. Ah, ah crap! Help me! I'm not choking. Oh, also, I just that. noticed. Oh, that's close. Also, I just noticed you gotta be careful because if you. I also just noticed you have to be careful because if you're inked, you also start removing color from things. Yes. Now, thankfully, the ink doesn't doesn't isn't permanently stuck to the buildings, but <laughs> yeah, it will remove whatever color you put on them at the time. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so yeah, I think this this is basically the point where they're they're introducing you to like the um, different difficulty levels uh, for the missions. But this one was obviously a three star. Yeah. And actually, if there's one cool thing about Diplob is that um, if you want to get a bigger bonus for for color points, try beating these missions on your first try. Which you seem to be doing a good job with that. So what can we use when when we win this stuff? What can we use this for? Wait, like the you, wait, what? Is this just? Is it? Uh, I was wondering what was the purpose of, what if these missions are optional? Why do them? Is it just to get like score, or just fill up it, that it, color meter again? It's it's for more it's for more score slash color points. Gotcha. They beat the level better. Okay. Is there any right. like? Is there any incentive to beat a level with as many color points as you can? Uh, if you want to go for the like the completionist route, like get everything, you are, you do unlock certain things for them, like cut like concept art, additional cut videos, stuff of the sort. Okay. There's also, um, also, I do believe beating, beating levels also give, grants you access to, like, um, side missions that are in these levels. Huh. So you can, like, revisit levels again, or...? Um, basically, think of them kind of like, kind of, think of them kind of like the missions in Sonic Generations. Okay. Ah. Think All right, keep up with me! Look at. This is our prime target, Blob. This landmark controls all the paint bots in Proba City. Paint the target of the paint bot transmitter. You'll need to be yellow and hit it with 50 paint points. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright. Just as soon as this thing is stopping thick with me. Here we go. There you go. Press the button, stupid. <laughs> Lemonade juice for everyone. Ooh. Sure, let's call it that. <laughs> And there we go. We we tur we turn the transmitter into our secret base. 
And with that, I do believe we're done. Yay. Hooray! So, so where do we how go? How about we get the heck out of here? Yeah, let's see, yeah, where do we leave? Oh, okay. Through the sewers again. Yep. Back to where I belong. Oop. Flushed away. And that's that. Okay. That was literally the last resort. Um, I guess I'll ask, are we planning on doing anything for... for are we doing anything for DeBlob 2? Um, I'll think about it. I mean, the game's still... This game's still a few weeks away from release on the Switch, so... I mean, if I decide to, I'll go ahead and give that a look at as well. Um, by the way, it should also be said, even though um, this game came out on the Switch, I would actually say that it really doesn't matter which version of the game you want to get, because... Uh, to the Switch's detriment, they do a pretty. The game runs pretty well on docked mode, but undocked, it's it kind of can't make up its mind on what frame rate it wants to be. Oh, okay. It's it's honestly not too far far removed from how uh, how um, Hyrule Warriors um, Definitive Edition is like on uh, portable mode. But um, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our look at on Develop. Again, you can practically get it on just about anything now, and um, I'd recommend it, assuming you. Don't mind spending your time painting the painting the town red and blue with and any other color you like. That's it. I'm James May Extreme. Lucky Jack 20. Alrighty. Well, After these messages. Bye everybody. We'll be right back.